All right, well, I was thinking about doing a Zordal or a Fibble today and couldn't decide which one to do, so I thought, why not do both? So, uh, if you're not familiar with Zordal, it's like Wordle, but there's two words overlaid on the same grid, and Fibble is just like Wordle, except on every line, one of the clues is a lie. Um, I also have the hard mode turned on on the Zordal, so you'll notice we don't know what our starting word is. It will get revealed one letter at a time as we make our first five guesses. Um, so, since we don't know anything about the Zordal at this point, we might as well just guess a word that would be good for the Fibble. Um, so I like to repeat letters, but I also don't necessarily want, well, I don't know. The double N isn't bad. I was gonna say, I don't necessarily want to repeat a letter on the Zordal side, but the double N isn't terrible because there's a good chance there's an N in one of the two words, right? It's a pretty common letter. So, uh, if there is an N, then we're more likely to find it. Um, so that's not terrible. But I don't necessarily want to repeat all the grays either because we know at most one of them is in the words. So, you know, my first thought is something like funny, but most of those are not going to be in the words. So, we could do something like sunny that way. Yeah, I don't know that I like that. Let's do, let's do shiny. We'll get some new letters and also repeat some letters. We'll do a little bit of both. Okay. Ooh, okay, well that was really good, actually. We're gonna do shiny over here. Okay, interesting. And we've checked for the C. <laughs> uh, so, we know one of these two Y's is a lie and one of these two H's is a lie, so everything else has to be true. So I'm glad I didn't guess something with two N's because there's no N. Now, there's either an S, no, there's, I, there's either an S and a Y, or there's no S and no Y. So I'm gonna go off the assumption that there's an S and a Y at this point, although we don't have an, we've already found the S and we don't have a Y on the left, so it's not great to guess the S and the Y. So I might just go with five new letters. That might be a good plan at this point. Um, you, roast isn't terrible. Um, it's four new letters. It does repeat the S, but I mean, it's possible we could have another S on the left. Probably not, but it's possible. And it does give us some chance for some contradictions on the Fibble to hopefully help us figure out where the lies are. I don't know, let's go with that. Okay. Roast, ooh, okay, that was really good over here. Oh, there is another S! No way! <laughs> well, that was lucky. All right. Uh, so, okay. So, if, if if this S is true, then that S is true. Okay. So, if if there if there is an S, then these are both lies. In which case, there. Yeah, the S. There there would be a Y. The Y would have to be true. So we would have O, and then. An S could be third or fourth. The rest of these would have to be true. There's no R, no A, no T then. Yeah, that would work because we could do a double S and do like bossy or mossy, something like that. Or we could do something with an EY, yeah, like posy or mosey. Not rosy, but so that would work. That is possible. Okay, I was kind of hoping. I was kind of hoping that it wouldn't be possible to do that, and then I would know where the lies were. But it is possible. It's also possible that there's no S, no Y, because then we've got. I mean, we got lots of options then. But this O could be the lie for all we know. I don't know. If if the S is true and the O is true, then you have to have an R, A, or T. But that's not. That's not that interesting really okay so we want to do the R and the A in new spots which will also let us repeat the R and A and potentially get some contradictions over there so what do we want to do it'd be good to just kind of do some new letters with the R and the A in new spots I think uh, something like armed isn't too bad I don't know if that's the most likely locations for the A and the R though ah ah Let's do logger. That's better, I think. R at the end is good. A second. 
L and G and E are all good letters. Let's do logger. Okay, okay, that was really good. All right, and then logger over here. Ooh, okay, so one of the A's is a lie, right? One of these two A's is a lie. Whichever one is the lie, it's possible they're both lies, but whichever one of those two is a lie, on that row, the R has to be true. So the R is true on both. Now, don't know. It, again, if the S is true, I mean, if the S is a lie, the A is true, which makes this A the lie. Oh, we also know, right, right, right. We also know that the O or the A is a lie. So, does that mean the O or the A has to be the lie in roast? These can't both be, tr they can both be true because this would be a lie. Oh, shoot. No, 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 the other way around. If this is true, if this is true, this is a lie and this is a lie, which isn't possible. So this can't be true. This has to be a lie, which means the rest of these are true. Okay, so. That's that's something. Now we we don't know whether the O or the A is the lie. I don't think, because this could be a lie because it's yellow, right? It's supposed to be yellow, which would make this A also a lie. Or it could be a lie because it's gray, which would make this true. Either way, we don't know about the O or the S still, but we do know. What do we know? <laughs> There's either an S and a Y. And an O and an L. Right, right. If there's if the if there's the S and the Y, that means that this S is a lie, which means the O is true. So there would be S, Y, O, and L. And so then we would end up with O S L Y or LSY, and I don't think that works. I don't think either one of those works, does it? I don't think so. So, so that means the S and the Y can't be true. If these are true, yeah, yeah, that's not possible. So these have to be the true, these are the lie, this is true, and all we have is the L is in the word. There might be an O, there might be an A. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, so let's look back over here. Let's let's work on the Zordal side and hopefully whatever we're guessing over here will give us some information on the Fibble. So we've got the S, the O, the A, the E, the R. We don't know where the L is yet, but we're also getting a C-H-I. Could be something like chips um, or chide or chive. So it's either S-O, in which case it has to have the other S, because you can't have the same letter in both words. It's not going to be S-R. It's not going to be S-R, so the one word is E-R. So it would be S, it would be like this. Or it's S, ooh, it could do salsa. Could do salsa. Salsa's good. Uh, it's a good answer and it's a good uh, food. <laughs> Salsa would be good. The other one would then be something O, something E-R. If it's chips, if it's chips, chips and salsa, and, and what? What's the other word then? Chips? Poker, poker and salsa, both kinds of chips. Yeah, it's gonna be poker and salsa. Um, let's do, it doesn't really matter. Let's do salsa and poker. There we go, very nice. And then we have to do salsa and poker over here. Okay, now we've got to figure out the fibble. So, what do we know, what do we know? Well, we're pretty sure we know there's not an S, right? Okay, here's, here's one thing we do know. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna erase this but keep it in mind what we're thinking is true there okay um, we do know that one of these two s's is a lie this gray or this yellow whichever one of those two is a lie the a is true on that row so there's no a for sure we know oh, we know there is an L but we don't know that this is true because this could be uh, there's supposed to be a green 
Now, we know there's no E, so this is a lie. The rest of these are true. Oh! Which means this is true, which means this O is the lie, which means there's no S or T. This is true. This is a lie. This is true. This is a lie. Yep, yep, yep. Um, this is true. This is a lie. True. There we go. Okay, so we got all our trues and falses taken care of. Yes, now we just have to figure out the answer. So, we know there is an L, there is an O. That's all we know. The rest of the letters are all gray. So... Uh, what if we did, what if we did, um, like L, uh, uh, we could even do a double, uh, flood? Flood would work, or blood. or bloom so uh, so maybe maybe we should do blood and it could be flood or bloom and I don't know let's just go for that oh so okay so let's think about this if it, it, it could be bloom and the D is the lie right if it's flood the B would be a lie and the D would be a lie then, because the D would be, was supposed to be green. So it can't be Flood, I think it's gotta be Bloom. Yes, one guess to spare, got it, all right. Well, chips, salsa, and poker, very cool, I like that. That puzzle was submitted by Jay Russell. I enjoyed that with the multiple meanings for chips, that's kind of fun. Uh, chips is actually a homonym, in fact, it's a homophone and a homograph. Since it has multiple meanings with the same spelling and same pronunciation, uh, if you want to learn more about some homonyms and homophones, link to in the description to the video that I did on my other channel a while back about that one. But there you go. So salsa, poker, bloom. Very nice. Let me know how this Zordal and Fibble went for you today and how many guesses it took you to get each one. And I imagine if I wasn't doing hard mode, it might have been a little bit easier even because chips knowing that you're starting with chips um, makes that's that's the point of hard mode right because you know that the words are going to be related so uh, if I'd started with chips I might have guessed salsa and poker sooner not necessarily immediately but yeah interesting anyways let me know how both of these went for you today and uh, you know what which my guesses you thought were bad and good and be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles we'll pick a random available seat why who knows? That's just the kind of thing hypothetical passengers do. Um, that's pretty good. Let's go with that. Wow! No way! <laughs> yeah, I mean, either a part or short could be right, or neither of them could be right. Who knows? I mean, 20 times 11 is 220. Then we would need to add 53. 40 plus 13 is 53. There we go. 11 times 20, 220. 